Hi, I'm Britt Carr. I'm the Creative Director for Advanced Authoring. And I wanted to show one of the projects that I developed at Miami University. Uh, this project was uh, brought to me by a music faculty member who wanted to desensitize her performance students um, from the distracting mannerisms that uh, a public audience would do that uh, would cause the musician to make a mistake or lose their focus. Uh, so she actually asked me to develop a loopable DVD that the students could watch on their television and I asked to actually use Flash and Flash Video to uh, be able to access the web camera and the mic to allow the videotape of the audience to actually respond to what the user was doing with their movements and their sound. Uh, this could be used in uh, music uh, theater for speech comm, and I've actually had a couple of uh, psychologists that are out in the field um, uh, ask me if they could use this as well. Uh, one of the first things that I had to do in order to create this learning activity was analyze uh, the different modes of audience behavior. And so the first thing that happens is that the audience waits for the performer. So they talk amongst themselves, they read the program, uh, you know, they might text um, uh, any number of things. Uh, once they see the performer step on stage, they clap and they actually welcome the performer. Uh, then it comes into the watching performance mode, and that is actually where all of the distracting mannerisms come in, because at this point the musician is actually playing and really focusing on, on the task at hand, and when they hear a cough or a cell phone or a whisper, uh, it throws them off of what they're doing and it makes them lose focus. When the musician finishes playing, the audience generally claps for the performer and if the audience really likes the performance very much, uh, we get an ovation. So we recorded about 15 clips to use as distractions and then we padded them with uh, the regular modes of audience uh, behavior. I'm going to go ahead and start the virtual audience and you'll hear some white noise and the white noise is actually just uh, the sound from the record uh, from the auditorium when we were recording. Now that we've started the virtual audience the student actually has a chance to go into either performance mode or practice mode. When they're in performance mode the audience actually listens and watches through the webcam. Now unfortunately you can't see me uh, I am not on the stage at, at this point, um, but the audience is actually watching the video that's coming through my webcam. So I'm going to start the activity, and once I start it, then I will take the stage. Okay, so now we're in the waiting mode, and while we're in the waiting mode, the students are actually uh, sitting in there talking amongst themselves, and they're waiting for me to take the stage. Now, I'm going to step in front of my webcam, which is actually going to be the stage, and when I do that, uh, they will respond appropriately. They'll welcome me. And then they're going to go into watch mode. Now when they're in watch mode, uh, things happen. People come in late, they get up and leave early, cell phones go off. I'll continue to talk for a little while because uh, the virtual audience actually uses the microphone to listen to the performance and when it hears more than a two and a half second gap in the performance then it triggers them to go ahead and go into the applause mode so I'm going to continue to talk here while we watch um, some distracting mannerisms happen um, and you can kinda see a slight adjustment in the video as a new clip loads in but we've recorded 14 clips and we load them in at random and we hold them for random lengths of time So now we'll see if they actually like me, and some of them do like me, uh, a couple of people not so impressed. In any case, this is the virtual audience. I'm Britt Carr. Thanks for watching.